And we're back. It's Monday, December 9th, 2013. The market's mixed, closing out today. And the S&P hits an all-time high in its closing, up 18.08 plus, up 0.2%, the Dow up a mere fraction. NASDAQ up 0.15%, with the Russells down 0.2%, banks off by 0.4%, VIX up more than 2%. 13 and a half gold up a full percent almost two percent rally on silver crude oil down 0.4 percent and the dollar near break even and you'll see transportation index up nicely up 0.35 percent with the defensive sector utilities index down a half a percent and you also have your banking mutual fund here and it was actually up 1.6 percent for which is interesting anyway take a look here at the markets and what we probably should do is actually talk to you about tonight's free class and, and if you want to be a better trader go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com click on technical analysis and technical analysis is how you will become a better trader we're doing a free class tonight anyway here's the S&P daily we're up here at a resistance area, so it doesn't surprise me that sellers started coming in at these highs and driving it right back down. The question is, will we have a red candlestick coming down the next few days? If so, this could be the making of a double top trend reversal pattern, and the markets could go bearish. So this is a key area. We need to keep going higher, higher, higher. We need a decisive move to the upside to hit this resistance point for this trend to stay healthy in my humble opinion. Far as the NASDAQ is concerned, you'll see we're nearing a resistance area, but we have this nasty rising wedge. We need to blast through this red line. It, all eyes are on this red line. We need to get through it to the upside. Gold had a nice pop. Now we have a falling wedge. Bullish divergence on the MACD. Now we have a decisive move to the upside. Look for more upside as far as gold is concerned. Silver, same thing. We talked about on Friday, we had a close above this red line, and boom. Now we're continuing with the falling 20-day moving average. And Apple was up more than 1%. Slight little pullback with a pop. Facebook up 1.9%, building a high base below the 50-day moving average. So watch for a nice uh, break out to the upside. Google up 0.8% with a close above a resistance line. That is really bullish. LinkedIn up 0.8%, just up, up, and away from the symmetrical triangle breakout. And Microsoft up nearly a full percent. And still rising wedge, bearish divergent. It needs to blast through this upper resistance trend line for it to stay bullish. I'm not holding my breath, but. Twitter up over 9%. Boom to the upside, finding resistance of $50 coming right back down. A huge rally on that. And on our bull list, we had MH key up 3%. So we're up at 143. We were down here at 120. CONN was up almost 3%. Just up, up, and away. Another one on our bull list. Bear list. Let's see any losers. TDS was down three and a half percent. Was up here around thirty-two dollars. Now it's at twenty-five. Another bear list was IDA right here. Resistance. Here's your double top. Big drop. Probably on big volume too. No nope, volume's not that great. But look for a break down with this one. If especially if we get below that trend line right there, but we're found support at it. If we can break below 20 day moving average, look to short the puddings out of that. Anyway, I know your attention spans could be shortened or your brain cells are burnt with all the information. Just a reminder, tonight only free class. And if you wanna join us, click here, get registered. If you get registered, uh, before the class starts, you will in fact get a recording of it within the next few days for your watching and listening enjoyment. Take care, safe trading, share this video with a friend. I imagine there would be others who would like to join the class. Mm -hmm.